I got seven of the best businesses that you can start with little or no money, but a thousand dollars just to keep it within range. But think about it, little or no money. Why do I invest in businesses primarily? It's because I can start them for free a lot of times and some with a little bit of money. I've started 32 companies, so I know a little thing about it. I also invest in stock but it takes a lot of money, makes small returns. And in real estate, you have to leverage with big loans and assets to also make small returns. And right now there's what's called negative leverage, which if you bought my real estate course for 99 bucks, you know about negative, neutral, and positive leverage, but we're not gonna talk about that here. Get ready for a wild ride as we explore some of the super cool business ideas. We're not just going to stop at seven though. We've got a whole treasure trove of money-making concepts coming your way. So let's jump right into it. I did a little bit of detective work and let me tell you, you'll be floored by the number of ways that you can rake in dough without breaking the bank. Starting a business might not be a walk in the park, but it's definitely not as tough as you might imagine. And the best part is it won't leave your wallet grasping for air as it's struggling to try and come up with the money to start that business. Think about it. From turning your hobby into a money making opportunity, tapping into some cool online trends. Well, we're going to cover all of them. So you sit back as we cover because you can make 10 grand a month and this could be really game changing for a lot of people. So stay tuned as we spill the beans on those incredible opportunities where you can make $10,000. But first, before I delve deep and clarify what it means, what does success mean? Well, it's a high ROI, low cash business. In simple terms, I want businesses that generate substantial returns without demanding a fortune up front because I've got to make all that money back to make a return. The problem with real estate and the stock market. See, ROI is return on investment and it's a critical metric. It's what I look at. Also cash on cash return. Imagine spending a thousand dollars to make ten thousand dollars. That would be a nine thousand dollar ROI or quite a bit cash on cash, right? If you put out a thousand and get 10,000 back, that's probably what you would do over and over again, right? Which is pretty darn good, but there's more to it. I mean, consider how long it takes to get that return back. If you put a thousand dollars out and you get 10,000 back 10 years later, how good is that? But if you do it in one month, pretty decent, right? Now, you might be wondering, how do I know all this? I'm not just theory based. I've reviewed hundreds of business invested in thousands of them at this point, and I've got my hands dirty on a number of them, and I have real world business insights, having run those 45 retail stores, lots of different companies over the course of 40 years. So let's start with why $1,000 stock, crypto, or real estate might not be the best idea. See, stocks typically average about 10% per year, which means a 10% ROI annually. Don't forget time. Real estate isn't much better. You've got like maybe a 5% ROI on the total investment, five, maybe 9.5% on your actual cash investment, and you get that money back over time, plus you're locked into that real estate, depending on what happens in the market. If you have $1,000 to spare, you might wanna bet on yourself in business before you put it in real estate in the stock market. I've got seven different ideas for you that are under that matrix of $1,000. The first one, and I have lots of real estate, buildings with lots of glass, and guess what never happens? No one knocks on my door to clean my windows. Yep, remote windows window cleaning. I think it's the best idea out there. My windows are completely dirty and I have to clean them or find somebody to clean them because I, nobody calls me. I've never understand why more people don't start this business. You can start for as little as maybe 180 to $1,000 and you can make an incredible profit. You don't even have to do the window cleaning yourself. You can literally outsource it to someone else, hire somebody to do it. That's pretty simple, right? I know if I'm cleaning all the windows in my house, it could be up to $500 for somebody to come out. All they need, a little bit of uh, window cleaner 
and maybe a towel and you're in business. Now, the next is real estate listing video editor. I'm a broker, I list lots of property. These are also hard to find. If you have some good editing skills and you can, you can capitalize on this booming real estate market by editing property listings and videos, you gotta be flexible potentially, and it can be a huge and lucrative gig. I think a lot of fun. I've done videos at real estate properties, my own and others. It's actually a lot of fun. You can make some pretty good money. Now let's dive into the world of microgreens. Yep, tiny, flavorful pack superheroes, plant, the plant kingdom. Ever heard of Jonah? That dude started his micro business for less than 700 bucks, and guess what? He's now raking in the green mill. You're gonna love this because it's gardening with a twist. Jonah experimented with basil, kale, and lettuce before stumbling onto microgreens, and boy, did he hit the jackpot. These little greens are cash cow. It's the first year he's pocketed 60K starting with less than a grand. Impressive, right? How can you get on the action? Well, it's super simple. First, find a little space where maybe it's a spare bedroom, a cupboard, or even under a stairway. Grab some seeds, some dirt. When you're starting, sell directly to consumers via Facebook Marketplace or go to the farmer's market. Like they have them all over the place, right? Where you can just open up and be able to start. And the, one of the best things is to create a subscription to keep the money flowing, where people subscribe and keep getting that product delivered to them. What's cool about the gig is that you can start small and uh, when you're growing, all you're doing is adding water to be able to grow this and then you can sell what you grow. Jonah did it and so can you. Month. My name is Andrew Cartwright. I'm here to help you get money, leverage it, invest it. I can relate to where you are. I've been broken, homeless, to multimillionaire four different times. Started 32 companies, 17 industries, bought 17, I'm buying 99 more with you in Epic 99. You own 81%, I own 19. I'll put up the money. We'll go into business together. If you need a business loan, oh, if you want to participate in that, there's a link in the description with a small form that you can apply to be part of that. You need a business loan. I got 12 different programs, 80 lenders. We've done over $2 billion. We're here to lend you money and help you out. Plus, I got free stocks down there, 12 to 16 with Moomoo and Weeble. So make sure you grab your free stock down there as well. I got coaching as well down there, one-on-one. -on -one. Now, let's talk about wedding arches. Ever thought of that? People go bonkers for weddings and spend all kinds, small fortunes decorating. You can look up online, Yellow Pages, Skyview Terrace. I had my own banquet facility. I had the space and literally I knew that every single banquet I'd make money. So I started my own banquet facility. It was incredible and sold the business. Jimmy, another guy, also is renting it out. Skyview Terrace, you can rent it out till today in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's incredible. I turned a venue that had a view into making thousands and thousands of dollars a month. I made a couple hundred thousand dollars off of it. And guess what? I only had one event a week. Every seven days, I had an event at Skyview Terrace and that event made thousands of dollars and I only worked one day per week to be able to do that. So events are incredible. I also did business events and also all types of social media events. Now, these businesses align with my criteria of ROI. It was a low upfront cost because literally with the banquet facility, it cost me nothing and they put up the money. I rented everything to be able to do the venues. All I needed was the space. Now let's talk about virtual assistant companies. Ever heard of firms that are assisting people or support ninjas? Well, they're making millions every year connecting companies with virtual assistants from around the world. See, it's very hard for companies to find virtual assistants. If you can develop relationships, you can get in the middle of these and make a lot of money. The best part is you don't need money to get started. It's about middleman between the company and the talent assistant. You can charge anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000 a month just for making connections. You see, you make a phone call. You find out well they communicate. Then you package that and you bring it to somebody stateside. No need for any skills or hefty upfront costs. You get paid every single month also by clients because you're in the middle between the contractor and that company. Virtual assistant, it is absolutely amazing. My wife currently works with over 450 people 
all over the country. I'm telling you, it is an incredible business that doesn't cost much money to start. In fact, it doesn't cost anything but a phone call. So here's how you can get started. Step one, you need to find a client, reach out to individuals and companies. Call it a big one is accounting firms. They make lots of money. They're, they're a number-based company, so they don't interact with people. The first place I ever heard about this was on the four-hour work week with Tim Ferriss, who told about all the benefits of online. I realized how many things I didn't have to do that I could outsource. And right now, I would love somebody to help me find great people, virtual assistants, to be able to do a lot of tasks that I don't want to do or that are not for bragging purposes, no longer make sense for me financially to do. The second step you want to do is get those clients, tell them about the VA process and the fact that you have VAs that you can provide them with. I did the platform Upwork and Fiverr to find international virtual assistants because the funny thing is, all you're doing is going and look at those Skypes. And what you're gonna do, here's your benefit that you're providing. You're providing the screening process of finding good ones on Fiverr and Upworks. That screening is your key value in this matrix. Next up is white labeling. Like I mentioned in the other video that I covered in Stupefy, where I created my own health food supplements. Those health food supplements were able to put my own label on it within minutes and start my own store in seconds. Biggest winners in the world are people that create brands. Look at the wealthiest person, the difference between Elon Musk and our second place that owns Louis Vuitton and LVMH. All those brand name products have the ability to make lots of money, including Air Jordans, which is the Jordan brand, which also made him a lot of money. Those allow you to create your own products and be able to sell them. So you definitely want to try that. And the seventh and the most obvious, just start a YouTube channel. Start making videos and post them, doesn't cost you anything. You can use an iPhone to get started. You can use your friend's phone and post them to YouTube and start monetizing to make money. You can start it for less than a thousand, in fact, no money at all. And you can post to Rumble, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and start making money off of your actual post. In addition, you could do that for other people by asking them if they would like you to do their social media posts. Maybe for $1,000 a month, they'll be happy to pay you, do what they aren't and don't want to do. And it's probably the elephant in the room, right? Is social media. Take care, I'm Andrew Cartwright. Love you.